officer, police officers, they don't need to be, you know, treated this way or looked mm -hmm. at in this light. Every police officer in a blue uniform mm -hmm. is not evil. Absolutely. Y'all you know, call it plate tectonics. However, oh. they're dressed it up. They're dressed it up. Come on. Blankets on stuff. And I, I, black Twitter, thank you. you understand that a lot of times we want to attack, 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 attack instead right. of listening to understand where is this coming it's from. still crack. Crack. It was born in crack the crack. 80s. Let's crack have it again, everybody. One crack. 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 That's, and that's what's wrong with it. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Melanin Pie. I'm Jay Johnson. I'm Jacqueline Moraney. And I'm Mary Gaiden. And we appreciate you guys viewing our first video. And we hope that everybody enjoys something from the last viewing. So how was everybody's weekend? It was pretty good actually. Mine was work. Yeah. Something like that. I don't want to hear And a lot of other stuff I don't understand too. Go ahead. Anyway, then we're going to get straight into our topics. Apparently you can be shot in the middle of the street and get justice as long as you live. Yeah, absolutely. Charles Kinsey in the past week, as you guys know, was shot down in the leg after being outside helping an autistic student try to get back into the center. The first thing's wrong with that is they did not call him what he is. Charles Kinsey is a behavioral specialist. He is not some little CNA or somebody just working at a right. center. He actually is degreed for this. He actually is trained for this. That was tragic. That was real tragic. It's just the fact that when they asked the officer, why did you shoot him? And he said, know. I don't know. You better find out. <laughs> you can't have done you just shoot right. I need you to get some research, some citations right. of why you shot him. And the other response was, oh, I didn't mean to shoot him. I meant to shoot the kid. You shouldn't have been trying to shoot nobody. nobody. He has a disability, number one. And number two, he's certified to handle him. And he in the street like this. And he shot him. Laid on the ground. Yeah, I can't. I have no words. Here's the thing. thing. It's it's <laughs> back to that situation we talked about last time. Breaking your peace. That officer broke his peace. And one of the things was that, oh, we're surprised this is making a big deal because he's not a white officer. It was never about white officer, black officer. Never. Right. It's about officers who continually break their peace and break their oath. You're supposed to serve and protect. Now this poor autistic child is going to go on thinking that there's something wrong when he encounters police. Yeah, these people are this crazy. Is true. It's, it's just crazy. And these a lot of these police officers they're cowards. And that's why they, they go to the gun first, because they can't handle regular typical situations that you've been trained to manage. And it's just Absolutely. really sad and it's sickening that you would do something like that, especially with somebody who has a disability. Stuff like that just, uh, it blows my mind. D.L. Hughley, your boy said it best. If your excuse is... Not my boy, her boy. Oh, her boy. Oh, yeah, that's my boy. Oh, sorry. It's, it's, it's all good. But <laughs> I like him too, you know, hey. Well, yeah. But the, as D.L. Hughley said it best, is that if your excuse for shooting an unarmed 47 year old African American man with his hands up was that you accidentally uh, were trying to shoot the autistic student. You need to reevaluate your values. Yeah, he needs to reevaluate. Get out. Reboot. Well, he needs to take off the suit. However, what, he, was he fired? Yes. I believe you. I know for sure last word was officially that he was suspended, but he is more likely going to lose his job. He was suspended without pay for several weeks. So well, at least they didn't give him pay. They're justice won to one million. Right. Y'all definitely at home, sleeping with your, your family. Is it? Going on vacation? Well, <laughs> moving on from that subject, okay. speaking of vacation, apparently Donald Trump's next vacation spot will be the White House if he has. No, man, not on my watch. Not on my watch. I mean, not on mine either. So, apparently, also, all teachers should stop giving F's for plagiarism. <laughs> oh, that show better stop. Future First Lady. I, re I rebuked that in the name. She okay. would not be the first. I said lady. possible. I'm, hey, we have. She not no. Okay, so here's my thing with the Republican Party, the grand old party, mm. is that you allow the most unqualified person in this country right to go up against the most qualified woman, as we found out from President Barack Obama in the mm. Democratic National Convention. The most qualified woman. You have someone who has spent his entire career democratically working, abusing our system for his gains, made billions of dollars out of bankruptcy <clears throat> against someone who you guys are mad at for some emails and tried to... Don't understand it. it. To me, it's not even on the same plan for you. They don't, add, they, they don't add up to me. I know there are a lot of people out there who are saying, oh, I'm not voting Hillary. Okay. Oh, I'm not, done. I'm not voting for Donald. Okay. You better vote for somebody. Because let me tell you something. One or two things going to happen without your vote. There's going to be a president, and it's going to be Hillary 
or don't. Regardless on if you vote or not. Your vote, however, is going to go on the side of justice on whichever side. So if you decide not to vote for Hillary, you're helping that dog. Regardless. And I understand all those people because there are a lot of people out there, especially I have some friends out there, who want to vote third party. Now, I'm not knocking you for wanting to vote third party and you want to, you know, lay down at night knowing that you, you know, did your best vote that you can consciously and I understand all that. However, it's about one or two evils. Yeah. You either can deal with Hillary or Donald. To me, I don't think we can survive Donald Trump in the office for four months, for four years. I just don't think that's going to work. And, and he's using his trade relationships to mm -hmm. go into politics. You guys have to remember, some of you guys are very, very pro-American and very, very pro-U.S. But you guys have to understand, this, this man has relationships all over the world with countries that we do not associate with because of the beliefs of our country are different. Mm -hmm. And so when the Cold War pop off and Donald Trump <laughs> helped it, you, you helped that by voting for him. Don't vote for somebody who is ignorant enough to say 20 years ago in our lifetimes that the, if he were to run for president, he will run as a Republican because you could tell them anything and they believe in it, he'd win. His top, top voters are uneducated, non, uh, non-metropolitan, rural people. I don't, I just, I just find it crazy. I just find it. <clears throat> I like to throw in there that this is not an endorsement of, for Hillary. We're no. not endorsing her. Um, we're just telling you the facts and letting you be the one to decide what you want to do with your Absolutely. vote. Because I am not a supporter of Hillary, but at the end of the day, I know politics, and I, like James said, vote not vote for Hillary and vote for Trump. Absolutely. And so, just want to make that. Clear. But we're gonna get to her too. Oh, Hilly Hill. Now she gets my vote for the most. Hilly Hill. Cause they buddies. Yeah, right. We friends. No, Kill but uh, the closest I got to Hillary was going to Clinton Elementary. Look, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but um, you also guys have to keep in mind uh, with her, she does have her issues as well. First of all, I will say, as far as family scandal, well, you know, we're going to leave it there. I will not fully end up, you know. Well, while we're talking about the Democrat convention, let's just talk about former President Bill Clinton and Nick Down Below. Beats. I ain't never seen a grown man that had you by some blue. He was happy about Hillary. You I see what he did? He was, ah, listen. <laughs> I think somebody said it best on Facebook. I want somebody to look at me the way Bill looked at Hillary. He was just looking at her like, Oh, look at the Bill Balloon. You want to look at that damn balloon? I want to look at the Bill Balloon. Can I tell y'all what he was looking at Hillary for? He looked at Hillary and said, Dang, I wish I had that pantsuit. I, I just, <laughs> <laughs> what? I just really feel like Hillary, she wear a mean uh, pants. Boy, she be fresh. You hey, thought she got that? She be nice and tailored. Yes. Yeah, and I gotta tell you, that hug between her and Barack, oh, wasn't it wonderful? That it was, was so staged. Mmm. Oh, it was, ooh, it was right. It, it was, was right for me. I felt it. That was, that was the best shot <laughs> I've ever seen. I <laughs> did don't agree. Listen, I will say the Democratic Convention, I enjoyed it. The highlight of the night for me was Michelle Obama's speech. She just always just. You think Melania gonna do it next time she uh, Probably so. Next time oh, she okay. speaks, she definitely. Yeah, get off my girl, Melania. That's your girl? That's, That's your girl. girl. Can we quote you on that? That's <laughs> not. <laughs> it was just a joke, people. That's not my girl. Just a joke. Just I meant to joke. say, she, she will steal some of your papers and your speeches. Well, watch out. Well, apparently, she steals people's husbands, too. And she wiping up a, a oh. four or five. Mm. Did y'all pay attention to how Donald Trump had all five of his kids up there, different baby mamas? Now, if that was That's Obama. Unity. Now, if that was Obama. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. They said, now, President Obama had five children by different baby mamas. The words blended and what was the other one? I don't even remember. That was <laughs> dread. Blended it with that. Oh, yeah, they would have dragged child support. They would have said, yeah. do y'all really want a baby daddy as your president? Yeah. You know, call Maury, you know, or something, you know. So, uh, my favorite part was the uh, possible future first lady, Michelle Obama, I mean, mm. Melania Trump's speech mm. that was given. Uh, she did a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful plagiarism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a wonderful place it is. I've never seen one like that. I've never seen a speech like that. I've never seen a speech like that. Last time I seen a speech place by so good, I think uh, my little king did. <laughs> <laughs> well, since Melania has a dream, I will say that next time 
I copy and paste from the internet my, my, my speech for class or my paper, I don't think any of the professors should give me an F. Yeah, it should because be Because especially if Donald Trump is Good president, because apparently plagiarism is okay. Okay. Yeah, these people don't fact check between her and Wendy Williams. I don't know what's going on. Uh, oh, but what I thought what was even more funny is the fact that Paula White, who's <laughs> Deppa Deppa the Brown, uh, decided to open up for the Republican convention. Somebody got a party. Black church. No, no. She must have got a good check. You telling me out of all these uh, good old southern preachers, nobody could, could pray? The money wasn't right of the soul. Oh, they said they weren't selling their soul. She was selling hers. She probably got nothing. Nice because most of her supporters are dead. If you are out there men. watching, can you please let us know how much the check was? Yeah, Paula, let, let us know. And I would we'll like definitely to take it. a donation. Thanks. You know what? The, bi okay. the, Bible, Bible, say, the Bible say, don't, uh, what does it say? Don't demean a person of the cloth. Do you have the Bible up? Oh, I need to pull up the Bible right. and find that because I, I would love to I, I, I'm, I'm trying to tell you if I find it. I just I just found that hilarious. Then again, I guess they needed you know the Lord to be in the house. They had to start right. Um, I, well, while we talking about the Lord, we go ahead and segue into the Democratic convention. You know, they had a lot of highlights. Yes, Lord. I will just start with a few of mine. So uh, I'll start with Doctor. William J. Barber II, he didn't want to get his name wrong. All right. He got up there and it seemed like he had a, a nice sermon on his He list. brought the spirit He with brought him. the spirit Ooh. in that house. He was going to bring some members in. <laughs> he was going to... Where I, you come? Be a Democrat. Where I you come? Sunday, right. I bet Sunday they had a lot of new members yeah, right. in the church. Oh, you don't have the Democratic Convention I open. Me and my letter, first voting experience. <laughs> he come on. down, okay? Come on down. Uh, earlier in the week, another favorite was Cory Booker. Yes. We... Will rise he, for that speech. He, he yeah. yeah. He tore it down. He spoke so good. What were some of y'all's favorite parts? Um, the, my favorite part was uh, Hillary Clinton's pantsuit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think even Bill had to admire it. Uh, he looked at her with Ah, my my Taylor don't do me like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, why are we talking about former President Bill Clinton? You know that's my homie. Um, Close I got to him was going to Clinton Elementary. I met him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I actually got a chance to meet him. Me as well. And open up for him at UCA. I think my favorite part of him, them damn balloons. Not the balloons. I've never seen a grown man so happy about balloons. He was looking at Hillary, not the balloons. He was looking at the balloons. He was, he was hit oh, the balloons I, I, and kicking the balloons. I, I, I feel like I have to agree with the little meme that came on Facebook that he was looking at Hillary E's pantsuit. I think <laughs> <laughs> In that pants. Y'all need to leave. First of all, she it came out right. Suit. Looking godly. It, she, she can't be looking godly now with what she got going on. Let's a see. few emails don't make you. I ain't talking okay. about no emails. I'm I'm what you talking about? about? We ain't talking about no emails. We talking about what she done. done. We not she, gonna forget. What she did. What she do? You forget these preachers, you better forgive her. They be sleeping in the step. We ain't gonna go there in y'all pews. Y'all got room to forgive Hillary. We done forgave some of y'all and paying tithes and offering. So just moving on. But I will say, my highlight oh was my that Michelle Obama. Oh, what about it? What about it? You said that with like a little drama. I just want to know what was so special. Her speech. She always speaks so gracefully. And she speaks with so much conviction. And she just makes you just really believe in what she believes yeah. in. And I really truly believe. A lot of people was on you know, social media. They was like, I love Michelle's speech, but I don't really believe her and Hillary were friends. I really think that she really truly has a relationship with Hillary to yeah, where. You have to. She was a former Secretary of State. At the end of the day, it was Hillary's job overall mm -hmm. to protect this country right all right i mean it was hillary's job to make good communications with other countries so that barack could go we know who couldn't feel that job was donald trump because he don't make <laughs> so he don't don't apply when you don't make presidents okay so well well i don't know because donald trump give people a little inspiration to go ahead and apply for that job that you don't quite qualify for because you might be able to you know become president you might you be able to be a you don't have to be a senator you able to get something cracking by the way, this is not an official uh, support of either candidate. Correct. It's just when you got a whole lot of trash in one area. You know, it's always two apartments in the Section 8. I don't know if y'all ever lived in Section 8. No, I never no. lived in Section 8, but you know, I've had some friends that live in Section 8. I about And it's always two kinds of apartments in Section 8. What it look like? It's a Section 8 house. They got a whole bunch of kids uh -huh. and got a whole bunch of baby dads uh -huh. coming in and out of there. Diapers and stuff every time. And what the other look like? The other one's always very neat. They make the best out of Section 8 they can. They got nice furniture from Renner Center. They got actual, got, the kids got clothes. We know somebody like that moving on. <laughs> I will definitely say, 
I will say. Well, you know, we know somebody just like Donald Trump in the sense that they use Section 8 to get ahead and forget that they came from Section 8. Yeah. You know, plenty of those I people. came with you. Oh, I came with you. And this I, is a good segue. It's a good. I just want to say Michelle Obama did a great job in using, um, you know, the children. Yeah. Talking about the children, speaking and pulling on the hearts of you right. know parents. Yeah. They're the future. Absolutely. Who do you want to put your hands in? Yeah. Her, yeah. Hillary, or Trump? And she did a great job being at both conventions doing two speeches. <laughs> and speaking of the children, <laughs> um, as you guys know, it is back to school time. Yes. That means that uh, many of the churches and community centers and different places are coming together to ensure that every child has at least what they need for the first two months of school. Cause you know they don't lose half of what they got. The backpack might be ripped, and it might be the whole lot of paper used for more notes to the girl they like or the boy they like versus uh, on the classroom wall. Hey, I'm about done. But the truth is, many many communities, especially here in I Central Arkansas, done. are doing back to school drives. And uh, I have a list of. Go ahead. I just cannot believe man said that. She said. That's the truth. You know, you first, even when your mom used to buy all your school supplies. It and she was all here. Yeah. Nah, that, 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 we're going to take a moment for reflection for back in the day. Now, Jack, did, you, did your school supplies really last you all year? My school supplies, I may have to buy a few more pens and pencils, but the paper and folders that last, the crayon box, it lasted. Okay, yeah. Well, you know what? No, we used to piss me off. It lasted. We used to piss me off is the teachers get all the school supplies and put them in the closet. Oh, uh, my mom didn't have Everybody's stuff was in the closet, but then they. We ran mm -hmm. out. The hell you did? It's 69 <laughs> cleaners in there. You better go grab one of my lips. <laughs> what? Oh, no, I was trying to. Uh, confession I had a snotty nose on there. Confession from a volunteer uh, for after school. Not confession from a volunteer. Okay, so <laughs> when they cleaned out some You're schools. I actually did not know. Go ahead. I know. I'm 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 a very busy woman. Trying to uh, let's not know. be too busy. Uh, well, I'm not. Uh. Listen, a lot of all the schools, we have a lot of back to school drives and functions going on. I have a few Absolutely. here. So disciples in Christ are having something August 13th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So back to school drive, free haircuts, school supplies, and more. Um, August 16th. Faded back to school drive, um, that would be in Conway, from 9 to 2, free haircuts, food, music, fun. I hope ain't nobody getting faded, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and then we have the Little Queen back to school backpack giveaway, and that's uh, with Queen Collection and JBM and Associates is teaming up to give some Little Queen's uh, backpack full of supplies and goodies. In order to enter into that, you have to write, if you are ages 9 to 14, 250 to 500 words on what it means to be a little queen. Goals for the upcoming school year and how you plan to accomplish those goals. If you are the ages of 5 to 8, you can send a video in on the same topics. And all of that is due by August 12th at noon, sharp, no exceptions. So definitely be on the lookout on all of that. So it sounds like you guys, there's no excuse for your children not to go to school without. Okay. Right. Um, please keep in mind to um, just look out Channel 18 if you have Comcast in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. They have them listed there. There are some that we did not um, get in for this week, but right. they are giving away uh, uniforms as well. Oh, yeah. So uh, if you are a school district that does have uniforms, and also August 6th and 7th, was tax free weekend mm -hmm. and so if you did miss tax free weekend city trend still does 20 percent layaway until the end of the school year and i know some people don't like to shop um the summer and during the holiday season so i know some people cannot afford right now to just run and go get it put it on layaway mm -hmm. so if you see different pants and they do clearance at city trends not a promotion for city trends but i'm just letting you know options out there also right. sears as well if your child damages their Sears brand jeans, you can take them back and exchange them for what? yes, for children's pants. It's called the pants exchange. That's awesome. They they're guaranteeing their pants for the full school year. So if you buy their pants in August and they tear up by December, you get to exchange the pants oh, again. Wow. They also have a layaway program and it's penny down. It is one penny down for your children so that you can still uh, go ahead and right. get some of those winter clothes out of the way. And the Salvation awesome. Army is That is really cool. awesome. Please make sure that you give these babies some, you know, good clothes. Reach out to the school. Reach out to the church. Absolutely. Find you someplace so these kids can look good going back to school. Absolutely. You don't want to be being embarrassed or nothing like that. Right. Definitely not. Once again, we appreciate you guys tuning in to the Melanin Pot. Please comment. Let us know topics or things that you want to look for. 
on this show. We appreciate each and every one of you viewing. Until next time. Stay in peace. Not, Not pieces. pieces.